So I've got the uh, lawnmower tipped up on its nose. Without the deck, it does balance that way. Without the deck and transmission, it's pretty easy to tip up this way. I just have the front blocked with pieces of uh, wood, with blocks of wood, and it just sort of balances there. Make sure you block the uh, front wheels so they don't roll backwards. And we have the double pulley <coughs> under the engine right here. This one is the pulley that uh, takes the drive belt that drives the mower deck. The upper pulley is the drive pulley that um, holds the belt that drives the transmission. Here, this is where my foot would ordinarily go. I'm going to rock that back and forth and show you what happens. This is the arm that moves in the way that it is moving. This rod right here, this, this piece right here is part of the brake. It's a permanent, but it's like a safety parking brake. But this rod, <coughs> I'll move it up and down again. Let's follow it all the way back. Goes up to here. And <coughs> the belt, as you follow it up, splits or straddles this uh, mower engagement lever. <coughs> And when you pump the pedal, the clutch pedal, you can see what happens. That's pressed in. The, when you press the pedal all the way to the floor, the clutch pedal, that disengages the belt. And we'll take a look at that in a second. When, but when you release the clutch by doing that, that will push, that will cause this rod right here to move in that direction. And let's move up here and see what what this is connected to. Okay, a couple of things to notice here. First is um, the position of this rod. <clears throat> this piece that swings back and forth. Let me show you how that swings again. The pulley rope, the pulley tensioner and release. I guess that's a clutch tensioner and release is <clears throat> mounted in the uh, frame this way. You'll notice that, first of all, there's one cut out here, one cut out here, and one cut out here. <clears throat> Ignore this cut out on this particular model because this is the cut out that accepts the rod. So the rod comes up and goes into that. There's a washer above, a washer below, and a little uh, cotter pin. And that completes the uh, connection of the clutch rod. This piece just swivels back and forth. <clears throat> and let me show you, uh, it also holds this tensioner pulley. And I already have this belt threaded through so that the back side of the belt, the wide part, will roll around the wide part of that uh, tensioner pulley because here's the old tensioner pulley. You can see how friction, it, it bound up and friction uh, took its toll, the belt rubbing across the plastic pulley wheel. If you can get metal, so much the better. I could only get plastic to replace plastic, so I'll probably encounter this problem again next time it binds up. Um, but this is the old one, and something I wanted to show you here is how you mount this thing because the directions are not clear when you look online. But you'll see this shouldered piece here and if you flip it over there is a shoulder but it's not nearly as pronounced. Also if you'll notice just by the uh, dimensions of this that this is more like a tray. It'll hold water. If you pour water in there it'll, it'll actually puddle inside of that. If you flip it over and pour water on that, it'll just shed off. So that's, uh, that's one way I can tell which side goes down. <coughs> and I hope I have this right. If it's not right, someone uh, post a message and say it's in upside down. But uh, What's going to show, this one is going to go in this way. <coughs> when the transmission is inserted, 
it'll go into its hole like that. The whole transmission will come up with this this pulley mounted to it. It'll all fit right in like like so. And this <clears throat> this belt guide and this belt guide will essentially hold the belt. It'll hold the belt <clears throat> in the pulley. This is the relative position of the idler pulley. You know now the relative position of the transmission drive wheel. And now we have a spring to deal with. <clears throat> this spring right here. This spring goes in into, you see this little slot right there? That little slot holds one end of the spring and you can put it in like so. It just slips in and rests thusly like that. Just you have to you have to angle the spring in that way. You get the end of that spring through that little slot and that's what that's what it attaches to on that end. Okay, so that brings us up here. And you see this long, you see the long, thin part of that is going to be up behind the drive pulley. Okay, so the other end of this is attached to the frame itself. And I'm going to lower the camera so you can see the slot. There's the slot from the inside looking out where this spring attaches. And it will go, it'll go into that slot by pulling the spring all the way through, moving it slightly one direction, and releasing it again. And it'll hook on, it'll hook on the little section that divides those two holes. So it'll go in, slide it over, release it, and it hooks into its little hooks properly into its little hole. Okay, let's look at it from the other side. It'll come, the end of the spring will come up and through, slide it over and release it and it catches like that. Okay, now I have the spring attached. One of the two springs. This is the clutch release spring here and I want to show you the orientation. That long part hooks through that hole right there. And it's long and straight to clear the pulley that goes in here. So this, all this belt is missing is the gear drive pulley, the transmission drive pulley. And uh, this spring, of course, goes up. And then if we go up above, you can see how it's looped around that. When you release the pedal, this is the clutch pedal, and I'm moving it down here by hand. Remember that's activating that arm, which is pushing that metal rod. And that metal rod is connected to that cam plate, which has this idler pulley attached to it. And when you press the pedal, it releases the tension. And that release of tension is what disengages the transmission pulley, which is missing, but it'll go right inside that big loop right there when the transmission is placed in, in its location, its proper location. So right now the clutch is released and the, the spring is what's pulling it up in that position. When I press the pedal, it pulls it out of the way and loosens the slack or creates slack on that belt. So this idler pulley attached to it and when you press the pedal it releases the tension on the rope. When you release the pedal it <sighs> this spring right here okay this spring let me follow it down this is the brake spring here it's attached to this attached to this little array. Incidentally, right here, you see this threaded 
end piece to this metal pole, that's where you adjust the clutch, the clutch. Anyway, this spring here attaches to this kind of braking assembly. And the other end, this hooks onto, let's see, the other end of that spring, which is dangling free now, connects to when the transmission is in place, there's a brake arm. And this will go into the brake arm. This will fit into that brake arm. So I'm just saving this to connect later once the transmission is in place. All right, so this is where we are now. And then up above. And we know this one is destined to go around the transmission pulley.